Thanks for joining our presentation. My name is Monica. I'm a PhD candidate at Action Lab Faculty at University of Australia. This paper has been co-authored with my incredible research team. Historically, CCW and HCA for development researchers in the Global South have advocated for a community-based approach to technology design and development. However, even with this bottom-up emphasis, the sustainability and scalability of the resulting innovations remain major challenges and are poorly understood. Literature demonstrated for development practitioners use innovations to generate informed practice for sustainable ICT for development. Further, there is little well-articulated literature on the high-level political context and actors in global South countries, such as the political visions and priorities influencing and driving ICTD programs and how projects and policies change as they go through central authorities from the government to national and international organizations. Our research aims to understand the high level decision making environment in which programs are implemented and in which digital innovation must embrace of sustainable impact. We aim to explore the complex network of decision making stakeholders to understand their perceptions and insights around the current ICD priorities, collaboration among stakeholders, and practices for program development and implementation. To better understand the current development landscape and its priorities for digital technologies, we policy makers, central government officials, senior NGO staff, and UN officials who are actively involved in shaping Bangladesh's current nutrition policy and program strategy. This table is actually briefly showing the demographic information of our participants who are involved who, uh, with whom we did our interviews, face-to-face -face interviews in Dhaka, Bangladesh. We report on three things that emerge that may be inhibited, uh, that may inhibit a bottom-up approach to sustainable ICT program development in Bangladesh. These are the factors that shape innovation and higher level stakeholders from government and donors, priorities for ICT programs, second and in, uh, evidence-based approach to ICT programs, and competition and power dynamics among them. Uh, we unpick the first factor into four <laughs> Exactly one by one in my upcoming slides. First, we need to understand digital needs and donor interests that shape ICTD programs. Digital innovations are seen as a core of achieving national political manifestos and global agendas such as fulfilling sustainable development goals for health and nutrition in Bangladesh. Moreover, donors' interest in and funding priorities for specific digital health innovations drive respondent um, organizations to. ICT related intervention in health and nutrition programs. Thus, uh, this needed focus of local community context creates barriers to addressing bottom up needs, challenges, and priorities, and results in a completed vision of sustainable development. Secondly, we need to understand decision makers' perceptions of innovation are shaped by their accountability to higher level stakeholders. Our study found competition, lack of contextual understanding of digital. And political pressure to create new technologies can too often result in duplication, repetitiveness, and the failure of ICTs in public health nutrition programs in Bangladesh. Third, we need to also understand the practices, perceptions, and expectations of decision makers. Decision makers look for new approaches and innovations to improve their quality, their service delivery, effective work management with human resources. It is and regular monitoring evaluation of their interventions and programs. However, among the government decision makers, there are politically motivated tendencies to achieve national recognition by association with innovations. Our research also suggests that decision makers in nutrition program, uh, development program, often have unrealistic expectations of innovations. Furthermore, our study found that as a result, there is a lack of provision for other groups such as ICT-based health and nutrition interventions for the elderly population. Furthermore, planning doesn't actually consider youth center or culture our design. Our further findings indicate 
the utilization of evidence-based approaches relevant to ICT programs. At the top level of the decision making context, there has been a common tendency to adapt in interventions and approaches from other countries. There are also some political will in Bangladesh to create evidence-based approaches for nutrition program development through strategic interactions. Our study found that while multi-sectoral stakeholder collaboration are crucial in nutrition policies and programs in Bangladesh, they are in practice still weak and defined. intersectoral collaboration among similar legal organizations. This is mainly due to the lack of teamwork mentality, lack of clarity about each other's objectives, responsibilities, and priorities, and internal competition for lead programs. However, this study highlights that stakeholder collaboration are positive in planning and document creations, especially in terms of monitoring evolution and strategy presentation stages. Although there is a uh, there is often a political motivation linked to the highest level actors such as donors. Finally, uh, to understand the high-level decision-making context, we recommend actually how can we understand the top-level decision-making uh, context? Mm, so, our recommendation actually uh, generate four kind of uh, factors to understand. First, we need to consider external factors and actors. More specifically, uh, HA4 development researchers and designers need to know who the Central decision making institutions and actor serves, such as government, NGOs, even groups, and donors in our targeted international development sector. Second, we need to consider internal factors to understand the dynamics of these intermediaries by understanding their political motivations, existing competitions, perceptions, and expectations of using ICTs in development program and policies. Third, we need to understand vertical mechanisms and interactions. Finally, we need to consider horizontal mechanism and interactions by considering existing practices and processes within innovations. These include understanding how these diverse decision-making actors work and collaborate with each other and dynamics of their diverse collaborations and intermediaries. Finally, we also have highlighted there is an opportunity for HCI for development researchers to engage as a mediators to foster this in such a role, research would be, uh, would be in a position where they can both understand and influence the design of specific interventions for sustainable, sustained impact. Furthermore, we, our findings show that there is an intense interest in developing new technologies related to innovations among policy and program creators. We raise this is as a um, this as a critical challenge for ICTD and HA for development research as this tendency to create new technologies raises a tension between their central priorities of innovations and sustainability. We also argue, uh, question here and advice that any attempts to mediate youth engagement with the decision makers need to be carried out with uh, the utmost care. We recommend that every national and uh, regional development context has population segments that are prioritized for innovation rollout due to factors such as high early adoption rates or alignment with national agendas. Taking together all the other studies, we suggest for it's for development researchers that bottom-up development needs to approach with uh, a deeper understanding of decision makers' interests and um, challenges. To do that, we recommend it's safe for development researchers become program design mediators to connect decision makers and communities, marginalize communities' voices to ice based program development, consider careful innovation designs for youth, and make effort to leverage existing technologies and platforms for sustainable ICT innovation for global development. Thank you, everyone, for listening to my presentation.